succumb to and feel the effects of this level of heat today. So we look at the feels like temperature and yeah, about the time the kids are getting home, maybe those after school activities. I mean, we're mid and upper 90s all across the area and then we do it all again tomorrow. But tomorrow may be the last day of this really high heat when we finally get that break and timing out a very cool week next week in the 10 day with that heat and in fact uh, Newark 95 got up to 95 that set a new record for the date and so you think about the firefighters you think about say Newark and all the workers on the tarmac it is another brutal afternoon ahead of us and we've got at least one more so let's get you ready for it it's 77 degrees out there currently where those dew points are still in the low 70s so the heat index is everything so plan your day according to these numbers because it gives you an idea like if I told you oh 90 degrees you can hand up 97 and then you maybe you're taking more precautions so stay hydrated that's the best thing you can do stay in the shade take it easy watch the kids and watch the pets it'll feel like the mid and upper 90s approaching 100 degrees at times in the city and elsewhere during that 3 to 5 p.m. time frame so again several consecutive hours and look at even through 9 o'clock the feels like temperature forecast near 90 degrees so that is definitely dangerous levels on the thermometer it'll be about 93 not much of a breeze either that helps kind of move the air not happening not tonight either 74 degrees, so it's another warm one. Sunrise at 628, and it looks like we're going to get plenty of it again tomorrow. Back up near 92 degrees, but we start to see the chance for some showers and st uh, thunderstorms as we get into the later part of tomorrow and the overnight. So we're waiting for this cold front to move on through. It doesn't, so that's why we stay still on that really sticky side, but we also stay pretty unsettled. So once we start with the storm chance late Thursday, we get it again Friday. Also scattered storms possible Saturday and into Sunday and that humidity stays pretty high, although temperatures do start to take a drop. Finally, the front does begin to move through, and that's key timing because we've got our eyes on the tropics. We have a new tropical storm uh, right now. Tropical Storm Lee, the maximum winds, it's really well organized too, by the way, 50 miles per hour. We'll likely have a hurricane, perhaps later today, major hurricane by Friday, and as it makes its way close to the East Coast, again, timing with that front is key for us. Days where it's really oppressive, obviously you can feel it out there right now. We start in Connecticut Danbury at 71 a Reading also at 71 degrees but you can see where we're headed today and tomorrow into the 90s we do break it into the 80s by Friday but it's really not even until after the weekend do we break the storm threat and the humidity so timing it all out for you coming up in the 10 day Maria. we were just talking about how it wasn't so bad in August and when you look at just the 90 degree readings yeah we didn't have any we had five in July but none of that had the three in a row right we're starting with just one in September now but on our way to what could be the first heat wave for this year, uh, this summer in Central Park. Yesterday we made it to 92 degrees. The day before was 89. We were close, but not quite there. Forecast today is at 93, 92 tomorrow. Of course, city schools going back to school at that point. But yeah, sort of this delayed summer heat at this point. It feels like it's going to be one of those days already. 77 degrees, high humidity. As the morning goes on, you can see already by later this morning into the low 80s at 10 o'clock with the feels like temperatures that'll be pushing into the upper 80s near 90 degrees will be there on the thermometer at one o'clock but feels like temperatures already into the mid 90s and you see that we have that for about five to six consecutive hours that's definitely tough on the body just take it easy stay hydrated we're near 90 degrees through 6 p.m. so even dinner time it is going to be rough so we are waiting on a cold front to help us out here it doesn't it, it approaches but it doesn't come through until we get to the end of the weekend early next week so a couple things happen we see our chances for showers and thunderstorms beginning tomorrow as it approaches, but all the way through Sunday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And while temperatures finally go down a category, humidity ahead of that front still going to be on the high side through at least Sunday. But look at the rain potential here, adding all those stormy days up through Sunday north and west as much as two to three inches of rainfall potentially and again all that humidity sticking around through at least Monday Tuesday. So today up to 93 degrees perhaps day two of this heat wave and then overnight tonight very similar to this morning we just hang on to all of that warmth 92 for tomorrow afternoon finally into the 80s by Maria <laughs> we might and we've got that to look forward to but not a bad idea this is the kind of heat that you can escape right if you're sitting in a classroom already by 9 a.m. the feels like temperatures in many areas push the mid and upper 80s, mid and upper 90s by the time the kids head back from school and we do it all over again tomorrow afternoon. Tracking the relief in the form of some showers and storms and a cold front by next week in the 10 day.
Thanks so much. Um, well, we'll be looking forward to that. More of Michael. <laughs> uh, but you saw that shot behind you guys. I'm going to use it too. This is a plaza. A couple of things to point out. Obviously, it's dry, no rain. But look at the flags. I mean, not a whiff of a breeze. It is just stagnant and really humid, and the air feels heavy. 77 degrees at Central Park that do point up to 72. Fun fact, actually, more humid air is less dense and is actually lighter. So it just feels like it just weighs on you, though. Uh, but look at the temperature forecast. This is kind of the key takeaway. We're starting off in the 70s, but already by later on this morning, feels like temperatures will be pushing near 90 degrees. We've got full sunshine again, no wind, and then several consecutive hours where the feels like temperature will be in the mid and upper 90s. As you can see in that 3 to 4 p.m. time frame, approaching 100 degrees feels like temperature. That is something that your body has a tough time dealing with. And so you want to give it the best shot it can, stay hydrated, take it easy, and look at the feels like temperatures even after midnight, still in the low to mid 80s. So a couple of things, just friendly reminder, there's not feeling good and the heat exhaustion that you may uh, feel if you kind of push it a little bit too much, you sweat a lot, you feel weak, maybe you have a headache. It's the next level, believe it or not, where you actually stop sweating, you're very red, or perhaps uh, that throbbing headache. At this point, you want to call 911. Before that happens, though, you want the cool compresses. Just something to keep in mind. Let your kids know some of these signs too, so make sure everyone stays healthy. As we get through this, and we will, we've got another day tomorrow, but obviously humidity takes its time. We don't see that really break until we get to Monday, Tuesday, even though temperatures do finally break by Friday. 93 today, again, not much of a breeze. Very similar overnight tonight where we hang on to all of that warmth, 74 for the low, and then tomorrow up to 92 degrees. That would get us the official 38. Check in on this hot weather, Maria. Yeah. Yeah, you can already feel it if you've stepped outside and can sort of see it, that haze as we look towards Rutherford. But, you know, it's a, that kind of day, too. You want to think about your kids and your fur babies, too. This is Leo out of White House Station, New Jersey. Has the right idea. Just looking from the AC out to a hot day. Watch the pets this afternoon. 11 a.m. temperature already 86 degrees. Storms are returning as early as tomorrow. But I'll show you just how long and how many stormy days we have in the 10-day. All right, but the Coast Guard's gotten a lot of work. Unfortunately, the last few days, we've had a lot of rough surf, and we've got some interesting conditions um, and our eyes on the tropics, too, over the next few days. And so offshore conditions are going to be a concern as well. But for us, it's the heat, the heat, and the heat. And that's certainly today and tomorrow. But this front is what we're waiting on by the end of the weekend. We're still going to be ahead of it through Sunday. So a couple things. We're going to stick with the humidity. That doesn't go anywhere through Sunday. But temperatures do start to drop with the, uh, you know, onset of some of the clouds and some of those showers and storms, which begins really tomorrow, especially afternoon and evening, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. This front also becomes key, though, in once again guiding what looks to be a nasty, uh, eventually hurricane out in the Atlantic. So I just want to update you on that because we've got all eyes on Lee right now. The latest advisory has it as a tropical storm, but quickly intensifying. We could be having uh, could be looking at a hurricane by later today and a major hurricane by Friday. The good news here is the main track forecast right now continues to take it north of Puerto Rico, but obviously such a massive storm and anything that's approaching the East Coast, we want to keep a close eye on, which we will. All right, back to the heat, 77 degrees, the dew points all the way into the low 70s, so we feel it already. By lunchtime, heat index values will already be into the low 90s, so you have many consecutive hours, and you see that number right there, mid and upper 90s near 100 degrees by the time the kids get home from school. And we hang on to all of that warmth even into tonight. But on the thermometer, 93 degrees, so it makes day two of potentially a three-day heat wave in the city. So 74 degrees overnight, and then again, 92 tomorrow, with showers and thunderstorms possible. By nice view there in the camera, Maria, but you can see that hazy sky, I, right? I know. I was going to say nice from the air-conditioned studio, right? Yeah, we still feel it already. We know it's going to be that kind of day looking from Jersey City. Let's head to Bloomfield, and you can see by lunchtime already 90-plus and for a good eight hours, that'll be the case. Looking at that being cut short in a lot of places as early as tomorrow evening, though, I'll talk about the cool down with some storms in the 10 day summer, right? Mm -hmm. But when you've gotten through a what, relatively cool August and now you're hit with this, it, it makes it a little extra tough. But yeah, we got to 92 yesterday at Central Park, headed to 93 today, expecting to be at 92 tomorrow. So we're looking at a technical heat wave, which we haven't had at Central Park technically all summer. But here we are the first week of September. But uh, quiet on the plaza, but notice the flags, nothing moving. So not even a breeze to kind of keep this air moving around. It is 77 degrees now at Central Park, 72 degree dew point. That's everything.
something. That's that heat and humidity combination. In fact, that humidity may it has room to go up a little bit even through tomorrow and Friday. Uh, so the heat index values topping out near 100 degrees in the city. But look at will be above the feels like temperature of 90 really starting later this morning. So when you have that many consecutive hours, it does make it extra tough. It makes it hard on your body to cope, especially the little ones. They're not small adults. They can be susceptible to this type of heat a lot faster than us. So listen to them and keep an eye on them. And as I mentioned, it is going to be warm throughout the evening. So not much relief even after the sun goes down. 85 degrees by 9 o'clock will still be in the 80s through 11 p.m. So tomorrow morning we start off very similar. It's mild. It's muggy. 74 degrees. Winds not really helping a ton, but 92 tomorrow afternoon. Yes, but we are going to see the showers and thunderstorms start to take shape and then that may just add to the humidity, but will also take temperatures down a category. So be ready for some scattered storms late in the day tomorrow and then overnight into Friday and probably into Friday afternoon. But when we look ahead to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday included. So we're ahead of a cold front that keeps us unstable, but it also knocks our temperatures down a category. So by Saturday, 81 degrees, 79 degrees by Sunday. And then finally Sunday into Maria La Rosa is looking at the weather. Yeah, we've got the heat and humidity and, and then we have the spark of showers and thunderstorms as early as tomorrow evening and then into Friday. Some may be on the strong side, but it's not the only day. In fact, by the end of the weekend, looking at as much two inches of rainfall across parts of the area. I'll break down the timing as we head into the weekend coming up in the 10 day. How the flights take off or don't because of the temperatures of the runway. I don't know if that'll be an issue today here. I'm not saying that is, but sometimes it can be. Uh, but yeah, we are in it and we are in it for another day or two and then that's it and then we start to see things ease up but a couple things uh, on the horizon as far as changes go we are waiting on this cold front to change everything but we're still ahead of it as we get into Thursday and Friday so still plenty of heat and humidity tomorrow but we're going to add in that chance for some showers and storms and we keep that through Friday Saturday and Sunday the difference is by Friday we take the heat down just a category any other time we would be talking about how unpleasantly warm and humid it is in the mid and upper 80s but it will be a little bit of a change and then by the end of the weekend now we're talking more like 70s but can't rule out some showers and storms this front is going to be doing a lot of work in fact to probably helping to guide what is now looking like a pretty nasty storm in the Atlantic so I want to touch on that really quickly we have tropical storm Lee 65 mile per hour winds looking really healthy in fact I think the next advisory could have a hurricane Lee and then by Friday a major hurricane Lee the Forecast track continues to take it to the north of Puerto Rico, so that's some good news, but there are signs that this is a pretty big system, so we'll keep an eye on any peripheral effects. And for us on the East Coast, uh, still taking it off the coast, but maybe it's one of those setups again where we see some of that high surf, so we'll keep an eye on it. Otherwise, it's all about the heat and humidity. You have Earth Cam behind me showing the part there of all that haze, 77 degrees currently. Timing out your day, no by lunchtime, already the heat index values will be pushing 90 plus. We'll be closer to 100 degrees through the peak of the afternoon so take it easy more of the same tonight in that we don't cool off a lot and then tomorrow high up to 92 that would get us the heat wave uh, but again those showers and storms